All right, new unit. Translations. Okay, the, the whole unit is called, called transformations. And if you think about transforming something, it changes. All right. So for 4.1, we're talking about translations. Now, most of you, when you think of translation, you're probably thinking about foreign language. You know, translate from English to Spanish, from Spanish to German. But if you think about it, what we're really doing is we're moving from one language to another. All right. And so therefore, translations in, I almost said Germany, in geometry, all right, is a movement of a point or a shape. So it says translate point P, okay? So here's point P, all right? And it says negative four, four. So I'm gonna go left four, one, two, three, four, and up four, one, two, three, four. So there's my point P. Boy, it's off a little bit. Technical difficulties with my pen, sorry. All right, so that's point P. Now, if you notice up here, we have this. And this is called P prime. It's P with a little accent mark or, you know, an apostrophe. P prime. And that's just P after we move it. So it says move it one unit right and two down. So we're going to count one from that point, one to the right and two down. And there's my new P, so we call it P prime. I'm going to change color for this P. Negative three, negative two. So we go left three, one, two, three, and down two. And that's going to put us right there. I really wish we would have used two different colors or letters, but whatever. Now it says move three units left and five units up. So I'm going to count three to the left. One, two, three, and up. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And that's my P prime from that point. All right, vector. Vector is just a fancy math term, all right? So the initial point or starting point of the vector is P. We just talked about that. And the terminal point <clears throat> is Q. Now we call it P prime, but here we're calling it Q. All right, so the vector is that ray PQ, which is red vector PQ, all right? The horizontal component, you know, how we move left and right is five. The vertical up and down is three. So this is the way we write it, this is important. Okay, that's how we write. So let's go back and rewrite this. This would be one comma two, but instead of using parentheses, making it look like a point, we use these little sideway Vs. So for this one, it would be, oh, that'd be negative two, sorry, for down. And then three units left is negative three, and five is positive five, and we just put these little marks on there. All right? Kind of a greater than, less than symbol, inequalities. So in the diagram, name the vector and write its component form. So this is vector, okay, just like we did here, okay, vector, and we just name the letters, JK. And we have to go in order. We don't say KJ, we follow the arrow. So JK. Okay, we're not putting a ray over it, because we're not talking about it as a ray, we're calling it vector JK. Now for the component form, we have to figure out one, two, three to the right, and one, two, three, four, up, both positive. And then we put these little inequality symbols, basically, like that. And obviously they do not have to be pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna break this down in common English. Basically what this is talking about is we're moving from point P to pre P prime. So we have our X, and we're going to move to the right, so we're adding A, okay? And then for B, I'm sorry, for Y, we're going up, so we're adding B, okay? And we do the same thing, add A and B here. So if this is five to the right and three up, this would be five to the right and three up. You basically do the same thing so that this piece 
moves exactly five to the right and three up, like so. All right, the vertices of a triangle, ABC, are zero, three, so one, two, three, two, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, zero. So A, B, C. That's a horrible triangle, isn't it? That's okay. Translate it using the vector of five, negative one. So what we're going to do is we're gonna move each point five to the right, okay, and down one. So right five, down one. So from A, I'm gonna start at C actually, so I'm not writing over myself. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five to the right and down one. And that's my C prime. Now from B, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five and down one. That's my B prime. And from A, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, but then down one. I didn't even mean to make that mark. And that's gonna be my A prime. And then I connect the dots, and notice when I do a translation, the shape should look exactly alike. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, and down one. Okay, so pretty much alike, okay? But it should look exact, but you know, this didn't look, didn't draw very well. But what I'm talking about is every once in a while, we'll have people go take a shape like this and translate it over and down and it ends up looking like this, okay? Because something went wrong. Your shapes should look the same just in a different spot. Like you literally just picked it up and moved it. All right, write a rule for the translation of A, B, C to A prime, B prime, C prime. So from A, right here, I'm going one, two, three, four to the left. So that's negative four. And up one. I don't know why I put that. one okay that's the vector now what's the rule i did x minus four comma y plus one and let's look at that real quick i'm just going to take one point a is at four one two three a prime is at zero five Well, if I do four minus four, I get zero. And if I do three, wait a minute, that's zero four. I can count, I really can, I promise you. But this is why we check things. And if I do three plus one, I end up with four. So that's my rule. This is my vector. And label these, please. This is my rule. Kind of like the instructions. Okay. Graph quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So A is at negative one, two, left one, up two. And guys, this whole unit is about graphing. So you've got to be able to graph correctly. We move X, then Y. <clears throat> then negative one, positive five. So that's just gonna go up three more, one, two, three. Then four, six. And four, two. So almost a rectangle, but not quite. All right, so here's A, B, C, D. <clears throat> it says the rule is to add three to X and subtract one from y, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, there's two ways to do this. I can take each point, 
negative one, two, all right? And I can add three and subtract one. So three minus one is two, and two minus one is one. So that's my A prime. Here's my A, here's my A prime. Or if I just think about the vector three, negative one, I'm just gonna move three to the right and down one. So if I do that from this point, one, two, three, down one, well, look at that. I ended up at two, one. So there's two ways to do this, and I don't care which way you do it. Whatever's more comfortable, comfortable for you, okay? That's my A prime. So my B is negative one, five. And again, I'm gonna add three to the X and minus one from the Y, and that's gonna give me two again and four. Or from B, I can move three to the right, one, two, three, and down one, and look where I am. I'm at two comma four. So I'm just gonna move by the vector now. From C, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and down one. And from D, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and down one. And there's my new shape. And notice it looks exactly like the other one. Pretty much, I just drew it kind of sloppily, but it's the same shape. All right, translation postulate. A translation is a rigid motion, okay? That's just a fancy way of just saying, we're just sliding things. We're not changing the shape or anything. We're just moving the entire thing. Composition theorem. The composition of two or more rigid motion is a rigid motion. So composition is when you do two different things. So like if I take this shape, and first I move it here, and then I move it here. Or later on, as we learn how to do more changes, we might move it and then make it bigger, or we might move it and then make it rotate, okay? But here, we're just gonna do two different translations. So RS is at negative eight, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the left, and up five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that did me no good because I moved the graph. So eight, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try this again, yay. There's R. And then negative six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's five, six, seven, eight. So there's my R. And here's my S. Now the first translation is add five, subtract two. And again, that looks like this as a vector. So I can either add five, to the negative eight and get negative three, subtract two from the five and get three, or I can just move it. It doesn't matter, whatever's best for you, okay? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, down two. And what point is that? Negative one, two, three, positive three. And that's what I would get if I added five to this and subtracted two from this. And if I add five to negative six and subtract two, I'm gonna get negative one, six. Well, let's see what happens when I do the vector. I'm gonna go right five, one, two, three, four, five. There I am at negative one, down two. And there I am at one, negative one, six. So this is called R prime, S prime, okay? Now, we're gonna move that one again. We're gonna move it left four and down two. That's my vector. So again, I could do the math and subtract four from the X and subtract two from the Y, or I can just move left and down. So left four for R prime is one, two, three, four, and down two. Now notice, I'm moving R prime, not going back to the original one and moving that left four, which would be off the graph actually, okay? Now, this is new. We're gonna call this R double prime. The number of little apostrophes tell me, tells me which move it is. This is my second move. 
And then for S, I'm going to go left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 2, right there. That's going to be S double prime, and there's my line. But once again, if you see, here's my original line, and I moved 5 to, the to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down two, one, two. And then I moved left four, one, two, three, four, and down two. Same line, just moved around. That's a composition when you do more than one thing to it. Okay, exit ticket. Do this on your own. We'll talk about it in class.